All right, guys, we are playing some Phase Rush Cassiopeia in the mid lane. I took Mana Flow, Transcendence, Scorch, Taste of Blood, and Ravenous. I like the Phase Rush build a little bit better than the Conquer build that's going around on Cast, just because it's so much easier to kite with Phase Rush. Once you get Rylai's, you slow them and you get sped up, so it's a lot easier to chase people down. Conquer is better versus like tanks. But this is a lot better versus actually like chasing and fighting people with dashes. I like to eat them in lane just once every so often when this mana flows up. We're not really doing it for the damage. We're doing it for the mana flow stack. Teats up. We'll do it again. It procs Scorch too, so it does a little bit of poke, but she has Biscuits and uh, Flasks, so... We're not trying to all-in her early. We need a tier at least before we even attempt that. But Cassio... Cassio scales. She also has a pretty strong early though for how well she scales. The problem is she just gets kited. And she goes out of mana really fast early. And she's short range. But Cassio is pretty good versus uh, this assassin meta. I did take Ignite. But it's looking like I'm getting ganked. She's kind of playing towards me. We'll see. I could just pop the phase rush and run. Okay, never mind. We see him up here. She's trying to all in me. Let's go for it. No, nah, if I would have hit a Q, definitely could have gone for it. I wasn't expecting that. That was my bad. We need 850 for a tier. Kind of far from him, but if he goes this way, I could uh, cut him off. I could kill Dinar, but I'd die too. I don't know if that's what I want. Oh, that silence. Let's see if I can get him here. Oh, so close. My Q's just barely miss. Let's put the W down and flash and run. She might catch me. Nice. Slowed her down. Okay. Not bad. We got a kill. We're gonna get our tier. The wave's slow pushing into us, so the longer she takes, the more it's gonna screw her over. Let's just get one potion. I have red buff, so I'll heal. Okay, so once you have the tier, you wanna just always get in the habit of pressing Q while you walk to lane. He'll stack up the tier. Pretty good at farming with Cass. I used to main her. She was my most played for Zareth for sure. She's the uh, the first champion I got to master with when Master just came out. I have no sums, but I see Nar top. I'm gonna try and roam here. I don't think they expect this. Maybe they do. They most definitely know something's up. I'll give them a ward though. He's level six, so I might not want to fight her here. I just don't want to get pushed into the wall. Oh, that was actually... I just want to get phase rush and get out of here. That was a pretty clean uh, dodge, whatever she just did. She could have all in me there. It made me panic. 
but she didn't really have a wall to push me into. I have alt now. Back in 1v2. I know Nar is above us, I just don't know where. And when he's gonna strike. Played it safe, I let that one go. Let's try and walk bot. Problem is, we're slow as a turtle, because we can't build boots. Looks like she's following me, I'm actually gonna wait. No. I'll hug bot side since that's where I have vision. We hit a Q so we can go in for some good poke here. That's half her health. Half our mana bar though. But it gets us priority. Lane priority. We can go recall after this wave. I like to go straight into the Seraphs. Just to get it stacked up quicker. Plus, just the tier alone isn't enough mana sometimes. Plus the Lost Chapter gives, and the Seraphs gives 20% total. So let's go grab that. In base you want to use the Q and W, but once you leave the fountain, just use Q. We're already at 200 stacks. That's not bad. Pretty sure she recalled some. Nope, she roam bot. Ooh. I'm just gonna push. Hopefully, maybe one of them survives, but... They kind of went in as soon as she showed. Oh, looks like they had sums, so they lived. Oh, how did I not get that? Rip. I'm just gonna go for plating. By the time I walk down, they're just gonna run. Let's just fight this guy. We can kite him because of phase rush. Sadly, Garen is a fucking tanky boy. Nar, on the other hand, is not. <laughs> I feel like Garen might flash on me, though. But yeah, I love kiting on Cassio. Like, I can't kite on ADCs, but I can kite on Cassio really well. I like casting abilities. I don't like right-clicking. Because Cassio is instant. You don't have to wait for it. Let's see. We only have one... One Ravenous stack. I don't want to get too close to her. Although my health is back up now. I think we have Seraphs or Archangels. Now it stacks up a lot faster. Should only miss one minion. Okay, two, because that cannon's kind of low. Oh darn. Oh, this 30% CDR feels really nice. Kind of roamed again, I think. That's fine, though. My bot lane's doing well. They're not dying to it. Okay, Nar's behind me again. I could just try and kill him. See, like, I'm playing something that has really good, like, lane priority and lane strength. Like, I'm not scared of him in the bush. Just forced her ult. 
See, they're scared of me. I could flash alt, but I've I've ruined too many videos trying to do that. So we're just gonna keep our flash just in case Garen runs on us again. Flash to guarantee her dying there. And she panic flashback, so that's good. Nice. He's dead too. I'm gonna stay back for his ult though. Look at that, the machine gun damage is just insane. I uh, don't know where Garen is. If he flashes on me, I'm pretty much dead. Okay, he's top. Awesome. What I'm gonna go next is Rylize. So while I'm already kiting them, it's gonna be a million times easier to kite them with a Rylize. Let's get the AP. We can just get everything until it's finished. You only need a hundred and fifty more. So we're almost there. For a nice shield. And it gives us more AP. See if we can help this Sivir. Hmm. I'm gonna be between them, but Kiana's mid. Nice. I think I'm fine. Oh, did not have walked up. I'm diving him. I have the Seraph shield. I do so much damage. I'll just Seraph set. Uh... Alright, we got Rylize. Next item I like to go. Oh wait, that's not right, guys. What am I doing? Is uh, Leandri's really good for melting tanks? Increases your DPS by a lot, also. Is anything that gives health and AP is good on Cassio? Besides Rod of Ages, Rod of Ages is good, but it's not the kind of scaling you want on her. It's too much scaling. It doesn't really give CDR. They used to build Rod on Cassio, but it it's just one of those items that's, I don't know. It works on her, but it, it doesn't work well enough to build. We got that 40% machine gun now. Look at that. <laughs> I just hit one Q on them and they're... They're done. And my farm is perfect too. Let's see if we can save this dude. He's actually beating a Garen. Oh, hey, Nar. Deleted. The Nar's not tanky, he went the, uh, attack speed route. Oh, he actually was in there. Okay, this dude is a fucking tank. 
It took like four times as many E's as Nar did. We can go grab our. What is it? Haunting guys. Ooh, let's wait in the bush. Where does this go? She's just barely out of range. Alright. I got the shield. I might still die here. Got it. Alright, one for one. I wasn't expecting their ADC to be up here. But, I got her. Well, we have a full Leandri's off that. I have 12 of the team's 14 kills. This adds 10%. Damage plus a 2.5% HP burn every second. Such a good item on Cassio. I do a flash. Most Cassios take like teleport. I like to take Ignite on her, because it gets you some early kills if you play aggressive. I play aggressive on Cassio. It's one of the only aggressive champions I actually play. Just because I know her limits. I'm not chasing her. She's one of those champs where you get ganked and you 1v2. It's like how old Mordekaiser used to be. He's still kind of like that now with his ult, but... Old Mordekaiser's level 3 was insane. I think I got him here. I don't want to flash in because he's going to silence my ass. Kiting. I have full stacks of Ravenous, so I heal a lot every time I eat. Not as much as a Conqueror build would heal, but I have the mobility, which lets me kite out that Garen. If I didn't have that, the Garen would have got his Q off. If Garen got his Q off, he would have ulted right away. Where do I want to go next? Um, they're getting MR, but not enough. I think I'm going to go Deathcap next. Destroy them from the inside out. Let's go grab blue. It's gonna take a while, but I can wear him down. We could heal back all the damage. Wolves. No wolves. We could probably end the game here. She can't jump. I think she's dead to the burn. One saw that.
Once I land the Q. Yep, she's dead. Don't worry, team. I'll get the turret. Oh, fuck. I didn't even see that guy. Rip. I should have turned for him. I, I thought my team had him. That was my bad. Uh, we're 50 gold off death cap. We actually have it because it'll we'll get 50 gold by the time we spawn. This will bump up our damage a lot. Last we'd get a. Uh, well, with Cassio, you can build six damage items because you can't build boots. So we get like a Morello's and a Void Staff, and we'd have a lot of damage. Or we have the option to go like an Hourglass too, but when I'm this fed, there's no point. Usually the Cassios go defensive item a lot earlier, like right after this. If you're against a Zed, you get Hourglass second item, or first. You at least get a tier, though. Six hundred AP. I probably should have went gathering. That would have been good. Damn it, silver. My CDR. Are we doing Baron? Mashing my E button. I flash, I could flash all. I want someone to go in. I hit Senna, I just can't see her. Alright, I wiped them. GG. Look how much we heal. 150 every time we... Alright guys, if you enjoyed some Casio gameplay and you want me to play more Casio, comment below and tell me. Uh, also, like the video. Helps me out a bit if you're still watching. Also, sub to the channel. Do that right now. And let's check out the damage. Uh, I don't know who to give it to. Alright. We did 35k damage. Here's our rude stats. Anyway guys, I'll see you tomorrow. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And I hope you guys enjoy my videos. Appreciate it a lot. Every view matters a lot to me. So... Glad you guys liked my videos, and I'll see you tomorrow with another one.